Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the final challenge in a wrap series and this is the one in the top left hand corner. So we're going to look at how can we create a deboss so that's where you add a feature that removes material okay, from a curved or double curved surface. We've done something similar to this in the last tutorial where we actually looked how you can do a emboss where you're adding okay, material but this time we'll look at how can you actually remove it. On the bottom we have a number of tabs and the one that's active at the moment gives us an overview of all the activities and if you click on the icon for YouTube you can then link to the YouTube tutorial for the relevant challenge. We've also got here a tab which gives us a quick overview of different challenges and different resources and in this tutorial we have a tutorial tab where we can apply this technique and finally we have this tab which is the final outcome which we can use as reference. So what we've got on screen is this design here and we created a deboss and what I've done is I've created a sketch spell out deboss and I've removed that okay using a couple of different techniques from that surface and this can be applied okay on different designs but we're going to have a go at applying this technique on this sort of double curved. So it curves that way, because it's got a radius that way, and it also curves in this direction as well. So what I've done is I've created this basic design, and I'm just going to drag this up just to show you what I've actually created. Like so. So in the tutorial, you'll have this set up already for you. And if we have a look, I created a simple revolve okay filleted that I've then added some internal features some holes and added a chamfer and then an extra hole as well to create this internal design now some of you might be thinking well I know that you can use the additional okay uh, custom feature and choose the surface text the surface text has, does have some limitations. It's a little bit fiddly in terms of some of the options, but I will cover that in a future tutorial. But we're gonna use, okay, a simpler technique in my opinion. So what we've done first is obviously created all that and created, okay, the, okay, word. And this could be a pattern as well. It doesn't have to be a word in this case. So if we come down, what I've done first is I've created a cylinder which is a separate okay part so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to select the bottom surface I'm going to go extrude and I'm going to go to the front view and zoom out a little bit and then I'm going to drag this up so it's just bigger probably get away with it actually if it was just a bit bigger than the text but I'm just going to make sure it's bigger than the entire okay part and I'm going to make sure I've clicked new I'm going to give this a name and I'm going to name it tool and then I'm going to click on the tick so I've got the tool the feature there and I'm also going to re rename the actual part as tool as well I'm going to hide this part here which is called deboss and just leave on the screen okay that cylinder I've just created I'm now going to if we have a look at what I did next Okay, is I wrapped that along the cylinder as you can see and let me just check the thickness yeah I just left that at two and a half millimeters okay and I've added that to the cylinder only not okay the other part so we'll do that now so we're going to wrap so the wrap will be under here if you haven't selected before we're going to select solid and we're going to add Okay, we don't want this to be a separate um, part. We want it to add to this cylinder. So tools is going to be the text or the pattern, whatever you want to choose. The target is the surface there. And again, I've got two and a half millimeters. Okay, this is creating at the moment, okay, an emboss because it's sticking out. I want this to merge only with the tool. So that part there, I don't want it to do anything with the deboss underneath. And we're gonna confirm that, like so. 
And I could, if I wanted to, create another sketch over here or in the back and apply something on the other side if I wanted, you know, something a bit similar to this or an additional feature. So this is what we've got at the moment. And if we have a look here, I'll probably be remove the cylinder next. Okay, yeah. So I've removed the cylinder and I've got this text that's floating. So a bit like we did before, we can select the bottom or we can select the top. And, and click on uh, extrude or vice versa, click extrude and then select it. And I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to make sure I've got remove selected. And it's only, okay, removing the tool and it's not, so we've not got that selected. We don't want to merge all because then it will delete, okay, my deboss, so the curve. So confirm that and then I can turn this back on. So at the moment we've got all these letters that are called tool. We could rename them if we wanted to by right clicking on it. I'm just going to leave it with that name in a moment. So what we're going to do now is if we come down here, this we're going to use something called move face. So if we go back to tutorial. <clears throat> We've got some different options here. So we're not going to use, as we've done sometimes, or used before, replace face. We're going to use move face this time. I'm going to select okay, the backs of these letters. This could be the back of a pattern, depending on what you've created. And I'll just use my mouse to zoom in and out and rotate to select that. I'm going to look from above. I'm going to make sure when I drag this in that it does intersect, that it actually goes through this design. So if I show you on here, what we don't want, okay, is that to be, if it's catching up, okay, I'll just type on there, say free. What we don't want is it's, it just touching on that bit or there's a slight gap. We want this to be pulled right across to go into that design. Now you see it's just thinking about that a second. And we're going to, so I've created move face, I've just created what's called an offset. You do have other options in there, we don't want to do anything else. It's just an offset, blind one direction, and I've dragged it in. Okay, that. Um, Reapply fillets, if you had fillets on there you could, if it's ticked or not ticked it doesn't really matter in this case and we're going to update that. So what we've got in the moment, if we hide that, you can see those have been, okay, sort of stretched and it goes into this design. So what we're going to do now, if you look at this master one, we're going to use the boolean to remove those from, okay, that design as you can see there, like that, okay? So we've got back to the tutorial. We're gonna use this, so boolean. We're gonna go subtract, so tools. is gonna be each one of these and I could select them like that. Or I could click them on the screen. Target is gonna be this body here. I could, if I wanted really, I could keep the tools and that will keep all the the letters and I, uh, and I could use them later uh, but this case I just want I'm going to untick that and I want them to remove them all and to sort of leave me with this part here and you might be thinking excellent that's done however this is not really okay a deboss because the actual surface here and the angles, okay, are not necessarily following, okay, the curvature of this. And it's obviously quite deep as well. All right, so what we're going to do next, if we have a look, is we're going to use the option of replace face. And we have to do this for each one. And once we've done each one, drag that down. You can see I've created that. So we're going to have a go at that. So replace face. So we're going to click on the option replace face, which is at the top here. I'm going to zoom in and just rotate this so I can see that back face there. So faces to replace is going to be this one at the back. Faces to replace with. It's going to make sure I select okay this face here. 
and I'm going to create a one mil okay offset so we we want to make sure the direction is going inwards okay to create D boss rather than outwards create an M boss okay so D boss like that and confirm that and then we just need to repeat this for the same okay or for the other okay features here so same process <music> And the last one, if we click on replace face, is the back of the D. Okay, we zoom out and select this curvature here. Now let's click on flip of that. We don't want that to be on, uh, ticked. And we're going to make sure one millimeter going inwards, like so. And very quickly and easily, we've created okay that nice. Deboss feature on a double curved surface, so like a spherical surface. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.